all right you are welcome back to this class again so in this video we'll be looking at basic operations with standard form how do we add and subtract standard forms how do we divide and uh, multiply them the one involving square roots so we look at examples precisely we look at white examples to see how this uh, could be done all right all right this is the first example Express the sum of 6.03 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 and 2.17 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 in standard form. If you look at this, this is already in standard form. This is also in what? Standard form. So to solve this, so that means we're going to have the solution will be uh, that is uh, 6.03. 0, 3 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 plus 2.17 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5. So will be equals to. So what we're going to do first is we're going to factor out, we look at the parts. This one is raised to power 6, this one is raised to power 5. So the least one is 10 raised to power 5. So we factor it out. Because we have this is 10, this is another 10. We find what is common to both of them is 10 raised to power 5. So we have, so this will be left as 6.03 times 10 raised to power 1 because 5 is coming out plus 2.17. So because 10 raised to power 5 is out, it will be out here. Raised to power 5. So if you use this to multiply everything here, this will be going to get. I hope I'm making sense. So in that case, so we, the next step is to multiply this. This is also in standard form. We change to ordinary form. So that gives that gives us six. Uh, this is raised to power one. So which means we move decimal point one place to the right. So that gives sixty point three plus two point one seven. Everything multiplied by what? Ten raised to power five. So we can then simplify this. So this will give us 62.47 times 10 raised to power 5. Now, this is not in standard form. Why? So if you look at it, you cannot say this is standard form because this number here, the A that we didn't, must be less than 10. And this is greater than 10. So we have to move this one backward. So moving this, converting this one to standard form, we then 6. 0.247 times 10 raised to power. We have moved it how many times? 1 times 10 raised to power 5. So that means we have 6.247 times. So 10 times 10. Uh, 10, this is indices, right? So you add the powers. That is 10 raised to power 1 plus 5, which is what? 6.247 times 10 raised to power 6. That is our final answer. Or another way of doing it is this, which is a long, this is just, that's long method. You convert both of them to ordinary form in this way. So, or you have it this way, 6.03 times 10 raised to power 6 plus 2.17 times 10 raised to power 5. So this will give us this is part of 10. You know, we have done how to convert standard form to ordinary form. So which means we have two decimal places here. If we cancel this, uh, if to remove two zeros out of the six, it will remain how many zeros? Four zeros. So this means we have six, zero, three. Then we have four zeros. One, two, three, four. Plus, this one the same thing. So if we cancel two zeros here, meaning three. That will be two, one, seven, then, one, two, three. So the next thing we add them together. Let's do our normal our primary square arithmetic. So we have without using that this four. One, two, three, four. Then we have this one. We have three zeros. We have this. So units under this tens under tens. Don't forget that. Seven, one, two. So let's add them together. We have zero, 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 seven, four, two, six. So now we have six, two, four. 7000. Zero, zero, zero. So, what we express this in standard form? 
So don't forget this is point zero. So we move it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That gives us six point two four seven times ten raised power. We have moved it how many times? Six times. This part six. We have this. Is it the same thing we have here? You can see it's, it's the same thing. So either way, you still get your answer. If this suits you, go at, go with this. If it's this one, go with this. So you get the same answer. So we move to the second question now. That's example two now. Without using a calculator, find the difference, that is minus, between this and this, leaving your answer in standard form. It's already in standard form, so solution to that. Solution. So we could have, that is 9.5 times 10 raised to power 7 minus 3.5. 0, 0.8 times 10 raised to power 6. So the same thing, the, the lowest power of 10 here is 6. So we factor that out. So that means we're going to have uh, 9.5 times uh, 10 raised to power 1 here, because when 6 comes out, it will remain 1, minus 3.08 times 10 raised to power 6. So we find this one. This gives us 95. So, right? Minus 3.08. Everything multiplied by what? 10 raised to power 6. So, do the operation of this one. We have 95 minus 3.08. So, we subtract this. Or use your calculator. Use your calculator. Let me use calculator straight. So, actually, the question asks us not to use calculator. So, if you use calculator at this point, we will not know that you're using calculator. Right? So because of time, 5.5 minus 3.08, it gives us 91.9 to multiply by 10 raised to power 6. So this is not a standard form as we know, because this one is more than 10. So in that case, we move this one to this way. That will be 9.192 times 10 raised to power 1. We have moved this one times 10 raised to power 6. So that gives us 9.192 multiplied by what? 10 raised to power what? 7. So this is our final answer. So you can as well use the method I used in the first example to confirm this answer. So that is that for this. So move to, uh, we have I've talked about addition and subtraction. It remains multiplication and then uh, division, then square root. This is the third example, and this one is under product. That is multiplication. So here, you have to find the product of this number uh, and uh, this number. That means you have to find 0 0.0016 multiplied by what? 0 0.03. So without using calculator, we only going to use calculator here. So what are you going to do? You can do it in this thing two ways. Convert this one to standard form. Convert it to standard form. Do the operation the way you did the other one, right? To arrive at the answer. Or you multiply this three. Without using calculator, you can multiply it. Thus, 16 multiplied by 3. That is the first thing you're going to do. So we have 3 times 6. That gives us 18. You made a 1. That is of 48. So we have 48 here. Now you now check. You have two de two. This one is two decimal places. This is Four decimal places, which means we're going to have six. Uh, that is making what six. So we're going to have it. We count this one as one, two, three, four, five, six point zero, right? So we then have we convert this one to standard form to give us one, two, three, four, five, right? Now we four point eight times ten raised power minus what five that gives us answer or you do it the second way or you have this way convert to standard form that gives us 1.6 times 10 raised power 1 2 3 10 raised power what minus 3 because it's less than 1 times 0. Point, uh, sorry 3 times 10 raised power what? 10 raised power 1 2 minus what 2 Right. So here, 
you see what we have here is a multiplication in between the two of them, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to multiply this 1.6 by 3. Hmm? Then we can then combine this one and this one. So 1.6 times 3, same thing, give you 4.8. This gives us 4.8. Then 10 raised to power, 10 raised to power minus 3 times 10 raised to power minus 2. So that means it's 10 raised to power minus 3 plus minus 2. That gives us 10 raised to power minus 5. So in that case, times 10 raised to power minus 5. You can see we, we still have the same answer. Either way, you are going to get uh, your answer correctly, right? Right? Good. So that is that on the uh, product. Then move to what? Uh, division now. Now, this is on uh, division. It's an example of on division. So, what we're going to do here now, if you see, evaluate this, leave your answer in standard form. So, once you leave the answer in standard form, so the solution will be. So, if you look at this, 0 0.24, 0 0.012, you can see 12 can divide what? Can divide the. Uh, 24. So what we're going to do, we are going to express it as whole number. Let's change both of them to whole number. In the sense that you're going to multiply by the power of 10. So what do I mean by that is this? 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.012. So expressing this one, I'll move it 1 to whole number. I'm not going to consider sign from now. So that's what? 24 times 10 raised to power, I've moved it twice, minus 2, divided by, I've moved this on 1, 2, 3. That is 12 times 10 raised to power, I've moved it 3 times. Just to make sure that this one is whole number, 1, 2, 3. So that gives us 10 raised to power, what, minus what, 3. So in that case, I will have 12, 24 divided by 12, that gives us 2, times 10 raised to power, what, minus 2. Because it's division, it's going to be minus, minus, minus 3, right? So that gives us 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 2 plus what, 3. So that gives us to be what? 2 multiplied by what? 10 raised to power what, 1. And the answer is of 2 times what? 10 raised to power what, 1. That is the answer. This is the last uh, question under this basic operation. So and this one is under square root. And not only that, it combines all the it combines uh, three operations: square root, multiplication, and what division. So we can have another one that can combine all the operations. So that is a uh, <coughs> uh, mixed operation. So that is that one. That. So let's now look at how do we, uh, are we going to solve this. Now, <coughs> what we are going to do first is that if we observe, you notice that we have. This 81, if we take it to a whole number to give us power, is a perfect square. If we take this one to a whole number 2, it's going to give us another perfect square, right? So in that case, it means uh, this one is a uh, half sort. So let's look at it now. Solution. So I will convert this one to uh, to whole number. So then write it to power of 10. So in that case, I'm going to have, I'll move this one twice. I'm sorry, excuse me. So I have this 0 0.81 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 divided by 2.25 uh, multiplied by 10 raised to power what? 7. So it to be equal to square root of, so this gives me 81 multiplied by, I've moved it twice now. 1, 2. So it will be raised to power 10 raised to power because this number is less than 1 minus what? 2 times 10 raised to power what? 5. I hope that is clear. So I've changed this one to whole number. Then I've moved it twice to give me this. Divided by the same will be done to this one. That's 225 multiplied by what? So moved it twice. 10 raised to power what? Minus what? 2. Right? Multiplied by 10 raised to power what? 10 raised to power uh, 7. 
So move to the next step here. So hmm, what I'm going to do, let's back, uh, uh, solve this one. So this gives me 81 multiplied by 10 raised by minus 2 plus 5. And this is to be applied there. That will be minus 2 times gives us a plus. We had 5. So these are the same thing. 2, 2, 5, 225 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 2 plus 7. Then don't forget the square root. Equals to 81 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 minus 2 plus 5 gives 3 divided by 225 multiplied by 10 raised to the power what? Minus 2 plus 7, that gives us 5. Is that clear? So then you go to the, what, the square root. So we can then say 81 divided by 225 multiplied by, we let's add this one to the 1. That is 10 raised to the power 3 minus 5. So I'm just trying to break everything down so that you don't miss it. So let's put the square root there. So we have the square root. Yes, 81 divided by 225 times 10 raised to power minus 2. Now let's start break this down. This we can write this is since what we have as multiplication. So you can have this 81 divided by 225 times square root what? 10 raised to power minus 2. So this uh, will give us 9 divided by what? 9 divided by 15. So square root of 225 is 15, right? Multiplied by. Now I can change this one to and this, this square root. So it will then give me 10 raised to the power minus 2 multiplied by what? Half. So we change this, multiply by what? Half. So that gives me, gives me 9 divided by 15 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2 cancel 2. That was minus 1. Right, so we want to change it to standard form. We can't give an answer here. So we have to divide this. So what are we going to have this calculator here? So uh, 9 divided by 15. So that gives us 0 0.6. This gives 0 0.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 1. So this is not a standard form. So we have to change this to standard form. How do we do that? So move this. Don't forget. That will be 6 times 10 raised to the power minus 1. We have moved it once. And because this number is less than 1, it's going to carry what? Negative. So it times this 10 raised to the power minus 1. Good. So we can then combine it. That will be 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 1 plus minus 1. So which will be 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 1 minus 1. That is 6 multiplied by what? 10 raised to the power minus 2. You can see this is long, but it's not long, it's just because the way I explain it. So that I will not miss anything. That's why I have to break everything down one by one. So that is that on the standard form for this level. So if you find this uh, video uh, helpful and useful, uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any question on uh, regarding this uh, topic, so just put it in the comment section. You can refer me to uh, a particular year of uh, NECO, uh, GC, uh, GCE, or uh, Y. I'll try as much as possible to, uh, to solve them for you and send them to you. Thank you for your attention and thank you for following me. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We'll meet in the next class. So bye for now.